Hello everyone, it's me once again. So I finally built this Zoomy robot. It took me about 30-40 minutes because I was also uploading video at the same time, but probably I could have built it within about 20 minutes. Anyway, we're gonna do a bit of a quick setup uh, with my dear friend Victor here. So here it goes. Okay, so as you can see in the back side, there is on and off switch button. Can you see that? Um, so I'm going to turn that on and uh, you'll see Zoomy 100%, that's good. So waking up, Zoomy wake up. You can see some light bulbs, it's quite cool, LED lights actually flashing, so it's waking up. Okay. Oh, blank screen. Now it's loading. So this could be quite a boring procedure. So I'm going to do a bit of a skip in the middle of it. So I hope you understand. But anyway, more or less, I'm going to record it all the way through. I understand this is going to be a long procedure. Ah, find Zoomy 8222 in your Wi-Fi list. Okay, so we're going to go through that just now. Okay, so I'm in my desktop now. So on my Wi-Fi, I found Zoomy 8222. Uh, so you should connect that. And apparently this booklet that I showed you yesterday says that I have to put in the same name as the Wi-Fi username. So it's Zoomy 8222. So let's go and click on it. Yes. Okay, so now Zoomy is saying that um, a browser is actually asking me to go to Zoomy dashboard AI in your browser. So I'm just going to go through that, through the guidance. So I'm going there now. www, no, without it. Okay, so it's Zoomy dashboard AI. Okay, so that one. Ah, so we got the screen and scanning Wi-Fi connection. I think the password. I can't get on hidden network. Okay, so scanning Wi-Fi connection password. Oh, so I got to type in the password. So I'm going to do that now. Right. So I failed numerous times trying to connect through my um, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to use my mobile phone as hotspot because apparently I think Fire First don't work. So let's do this. Um, so the password is LJP Tech one and let's connect. So let's see if Zoom is going to get connected. So we're using the hotspot because it failed on my... <clears throat> okay, so it's trying to connect. Victor is very curious about that sound. Save. Whatever it is. Yeah, so okay, that's good. So it's um, using by using the hotspot. So if you're trying to use a router, it might not work, but use your hot hotspot. So let's update Zoomy. Four, three, two, one. What's this? Fading out. Quite cool. Shutting down. Okay, so it looks like Zoomy is now updating. So let's see what happens after this. So we're going to see the blinking eyes of Zoomy. Dashing board restarting. I have to admit, it was quite a tricky thing because I had to look up online to see whether the 5 hertz or 2.5 hertz works but finally we're here using my hotspot to update to the latest uh, software so um, okay go to Sumi again so we're gonna do that again okay, so we type on that 
the dress again. So what should we now doing? I thought it was already online. Okay, so let's use that pixel three. So L J K one. Next. I don't know. Maybe it needs few updates, but um, we shall see. We'll eventually get there. Okay, connect. Hello, Kickstarter backer. Let's go. So we got the software running. So let's go for what is this? X. So it's connected to my hotspot uh, Pixel 3 XL mobile phone. The name is Zumi8222. So let's explore. What can you do, Zumi? A demo. I thought I'm gonna get a full version. Okay. So what's this? Backlight. Black light. White. Dot IPYNB. I have no idea what this is. Come on. Something weird with this um, this whole thing. Ah, so um, black, light, and white. So this is all the coding. Oh gosh, my head's all just about to explode. But so Zumi can recognize simple colors. This is a demo. We will control Sumi using black and white cards to set up. So, uh, Jupyter Notebook code is written inside the clock cells. So, these are the coding run toolbar. Okay, so let's you can run cell by clicking on it and click run. Okay, click on run now. Start setting up Sumi. So, it's I don't know, I think I'm just... Okay. So this is a Python software, basically. But um, I have absolutely no idea. Um, I'm, I'm just about to learn all these brand new stuff. But I think it's all set up. So there you go, everyone. So it was a bit of a pain. Not as simple as the vector robot here, but um, I think probably what I'm going to do is trying to make sure it knows how to read the colors. So once I learn that, I'll come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. All the best. Bye bye.